Jordan Peterson recently said there's going to be a population implosion. We will never get over 9 billion people because educated women have too few kids. Too few kids by whose standard? I mean, he's such a collectivist sometimes. He claims to be a defender of individualism, but he's such a collectivist sometimes. By whose standards too few? I, the only person who can decide whether a woman is having too few or too many kids or just the right number is her and maybe her husband. Is this because Western educational institutions promote anti-human nihilism? No. Why should the population of the Earth grow beyond 9 billion? Why should it not shrink? What is the right number? Should it always grow? By what standard? Who decides? Now, I think generally, if, if we, we were less nihilistic, if we were more optimistic about the future, I think people would have more kids. But maybe they wouldn't. And that would be good, too. The point is that the only people who have a right to decide how many kids they have, and the only people who should worry about how many kids they have are the people having the kids. Uh, Yom Chazoni in the debate also said, Ooh, if you, if, you, if, you, if you don't worry about how many kids you have, then you're, you know, you're irresponsible. Who? Why? I mean, I agree to an extent that I think having few kids is a sign of pessimism, of, 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 of not believing in the future, I think. So let's change the culture and let's see how many kids people have. But however many kids they have, they have. And... It's fantastic because only they can decide. Again, values are personal. There's no such thing as collective values. There's no such thing as Jewish values. There's no such thing as Russian values. There's no such thing as American values as an abstraction, divorce from anything else. America doesn't have values. Americans have values. And the American state has a value, and the value is freedom, individual rights. That's it. But that's only because... It goes back to the individual. The whole point of individual rights is to leave values to the individual. So the American government should never subsidize kids or, or not subsidize kids. That's why it should never have a position on abortion, one way or the other. Government should have no view of abortion. You don't like abortion? Don't have one. Harper Campbell always mentions Pareto distribution. 80% of the wealth in the hands of 20% of the population 80% of mass in the universe and 20% of the stars. Is there something to 80-20 rule or is it pseudoscience? It's pseudoscience. I mean, there's something to it. It's often a phenomena. It often occurs. But there's no, as far as I can tell, fundamental metaphysical or physical rule that it has to. It just it doesn't have to. And, who says it's 80-20? Maybe it's 90-10. Maybe it's 73-27. And that's not Pareto optimum, but, well, Pareto distribution. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pseudoscience. It's just made up stuff that he comes up with. I agree with him that there would be inequality in a free society, any society. We're not all the same. We're never all the same, so we will be different. Outcomes will be different, always. But how they're distributed, in what ways, that is not determined by some formula. That is determined by the state of the culture, productivity. I mean, people are saying inequality in the U.S. is increasing, so it's, what's it? Move from the 80-20 to the 90-10? No, it's, there's no rule there. There's no right or wrong there. Oh, Dave, I, I forgot you had a $100 question. Should have started with that. Dave says, the left is collectivist because they think everything is engineered. All leftist collectivists because they think everything is engineered. No, I don't think so. Crime, poverty, wealth are all structures applying pressure on different segments of masses. The concept of individuals acting autonomously doesn't register to most intellectuals possible. Yeah, I mean, that is all right, but I don't think it's about... It engineered, I think, 
to them, individuals don't matter. They have no standing in the universe. It's only groups that matter. And then it's what those groups do or don't do. And since groups are mindless, groups can't make decisions because there is no collective consciousness. Somebody has to make those decisions for them. And because people generally in those groups don't know what's good for them as a group, somebody has to make decisions for them. Somebody has to decide what's good for them. Somebody has to decide what values they should pursue. So they, it's their job to do it. And if need is the basis on which we should structure society, then everybody has some needs. And what you do is you create gangs. You create constant pressure groups. You create gangs who are fighting over the crumbs, who are fighting over what's being redistributed. But the idea of, yes, ideas of individuals acting autonomously, using their mind, pursuing their values, being rational, and knowing what's good for them is not something that registers for these leftist intellectuals. They, they can't comprehend it. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content. And of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.